My name is Chris Kemp. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Astra. I started uh, about five years ago working with Dr. Adam London, my co-founder, trying to figure out how we could take some of these satellites that were being built here in Silicon Valley by a bunch of new companies uh, into low Earth orbit. And as we looked at the data we had on what it cost to build a small rocket stage and thought about what happens if you scale that, what happens if you make a lot more engines, it was pretty clear that there's a big opportunity to capture economies of scale. And so we're trying to solve the problem of our customers, which is they have a lot of satellites that need to as quickly as possible get to the right place in space. And we want to solve that problem as directly and as simply as inexpensively as possible. So from a very high level, we're inside of a building that's about 200,000 square feet right now, and we're occupying about a third of the space. Um, against one wall, we have our machine shop over here, and that's all the fixed infrastructure bolted straight to the ground. Uh, and then everything else in the factory is on wheels. It's on wheels so we can rearrange the factory essentially in a weekend if we need to, and we can keep expanding into the rest of the space that we have available to us. Our thesis is that we can actually make a super low cost rocket by taking advantage of the last 10, 20 years with automotive technology, bringing them to the rocket industry, very unique to our approach. Welcome to the Astro Machine Shop. The machine shop is where the rubber meets the road. All day long, we're, we're cutting, uh, forming and grinding metal and turning it into the parts that our engineers need. At our shop, we're making almost every part on the rocket. We use uh, three axis vertical mills, five axis mills, many two axis lathes. We have a rather large and beautiful vertical turning lathe and assortment of manual machines, grinders, uh, water jet, and a CNC brake press, amongst some other things. We're lucky to have a clean and bright temperature controlled shop with a very effective lineup of modern machine tools staffed by some of the brightest machinists around. One of the first things that you'll notice is that we're not using exotic materials here. Everything is commonly available and easily sourced in order to ensure quick lead times in the shop. This is a result of collaborative efforts that come about when designers and builders are working under the same roof. So as you walk through the rocket factory, what you'll find is that we've invested in the machines and the infrastructure to produce rockets at scale. And we've tried to avoid making investments in the kinds of tools and technologies that will drive costs and, and drive labor and make it hard for us to scale. So you won't find 3D printers and you won't find composites and composite shops here. What you'll find is the kinds of tools and technologies that we can use to scale production very easily in the future. Fundamentally, Astra's philosophy that simple scales. We are designing the simplest rocket we possibly can and that scales both in the dimensions of being able to produce many of these and in being able to iterate them quickly. That philosophy of designing a simple rocket drove the architecture decisions and the engineering decisions all along the way. And that's been a really neat process to watch happen with this rocket. So this is a dedicated small satellite launch vehicle. Uh, the anatomy of it is it's a two-stage rocket. So if we start on the back end of the rocket, we have five boost stage engines. Uh, we call those the Delphin engine. That's a 6,500 pound thrust engine. Then once we're out of the atmosphere, the fairing opens up. Uh, the second stage is released and fires and then takes the payload the rest of the way to orbit. And on the top of that assembly sits the payload deployer and payload for the customer. My name is Andrew Pratt. Uh, my role here is head of test and launch. So we're currently located in uh, Orion Test Facility. It's a very unique facility. For example, we've got two foot reinforced concrete walls, explosion proof circuitry. We have four kilovolt power coming directly into the building that we can transform down. So we're not limited on any kind of power requirements that we have for the facility. Uh, it has its own water deluge system that's built in historic. And uh, we can tap into that as needed to su suppress sound, suppress the heat that comes from the engines. Most companies have to go out and they have to go all the way into the middle of the desert. They have to drive, fly to Texas. They have to go to these remote sites. Whereas two to 300 feet across the street is our factory, Skyhawk, where we design the rocket, we build the rocket and do all this in-house work. Um, and then we just walk it across the street, put it on the stand and run a test. What excites me the most about space is all of the positive impacts that it has on human life on Earth, from the GPS in our phones to energy improvements, materials technology, medicine, even agriculture. The world is going to be a very different place when it's as easy to put a satellite into orbit as it is to send a package across the country. 
we're going to see new applications that no one has ever imagined that will help improve life here on Earth. And we're excited to be building a platform that will enable these entrepreneurs to build companies, to build these new killer apps uh, that'll change our lives in ways that we never imagined possible.